Welcome to High Tech Redneck, the hub for all things finance and investment. If you're new to our channel, consider hitting the subscribe button and turning on notifications so you won't miss out on any of our content. Don't forget to hit like if you enjoy our videos and share them with your friends and family who might find them informative. In today's episode, we're going to dive into a shimmering topic that's catching everyone's attention, the gold rush. But this isn't a tale from the 1800s, this is happening right now. Central banks, investors, everyone's got a touch of the gold fever. So buckle up because we're about to dig deep into the world of gold and why it's causing such a stir. Stay tuned and let's unearth the secrets behind this modern day gold rush. Uh, what's causing a glitter in the eyes of investors worldwide? It's the gleaming allure of gold skyrocketing to new heights in the current market. This precious metal with its timeless charm has surged to a record high, adding an impressive 6.5% gain to its value before today's monumental leap. This remarkable performance is not simply a case of bargain hunting. Instead, it's a strategic move by traders and investors seeking a safe harbor for their capital amidst brewing storms of uncertainty. The yellow metal has become a beacon of security in an unpredictable market, with even central banks rapidly building up their gold reserves. Yet this surge begs the question, what's the catalyst for this renewed gold rush? Gold, it seems, has taken center stage in the world of investments, but the question remains, what's driving this new gold rush? As we delve deeper into the golden sheen, we find central banks across the globe rapidly increasing their gold reserves. But why are central banks so keen on gold? Well, gold serves as a safe haven asset. In times of economic uncertainty, it's seen as a stable store of value. And it seems that the world's central banks are preparing for just such a time. Consider the Federal Reserve, the Central Bank of the United States. It's embarking on an anticipated rate cut campaign. This year, they're expected to slash borrowing costs three times. This reduction will lead to a drop in the benchmark interest rate by a total of 75 basis points. Essentially, the Fed is making it cheaper for banks to borrow money with the goal of stimulating the economy. But what does this have to do with gold? Well, when interest rates are cut, it often leads to inflation. And inflation can devalue currency. So to protect against this potential devaluation, central banks are piling on the gold. It's a kind of insurance uh, policy against uncertain economic times. This isn't just happening in the United States. Central banks worldwide are adding to their gold reserves at a rapid pace. They're preparing for the possibility of economic turbulence and looking to gold as a beacon of stability. Central banks, it seems, are banking on gold to keep their economies stable. But there's another player in this golden game. As gold prices soar, there's another contender making its move, the US dollar. Yes, the greenback is not backing down without a fight. Despite gold's dazzling performance, the US dollar has been flexing its muscles across the forex market, staging an all-out attack. This surge in the dollar is intriguing, to say the least. You see, the dollar and gold share an interesting relationship. They're like two heavyweights in a boxing ring, each vying for the title of safe haven. When times are good, the dollar tends to shine. But in times of uncertainty, investors often flock to gold. Now, in this scenario, with gold prices reaching new heights, one might expect the dollar to be on the back foot. But that's not the case. The dollar is holding its ground, and that's causing some ripples in the gold rush. Investor sentiment is being tested. The question on everyone's mind is, should I stick with gold or pivot to the dollar? It's a tough call and it's making the gold rush all the more thrilling. The Federal Reserve's anticipated rate cut campaign is a significant factor here. The central bank is expected to slash borrowing costs three times this year, reducing the benchmark interest rate by a total of 75 basis points. 
This move could potentially bolster the dollar's strength, adding yet another twist to the tale. In the face of rising gold prices, the US dollar is proving to be a formidable opponent. As the world watches, the gold rush continues. So what does this gold rush signify for investors and the global economy? Let's take a moment to look back. The surge in gold prices breaking into uncharted territory is a clear signal of investor sentiment. The scramble for this precious metal with central banks leading the charge showcases an underlying anxiety, a need for a safe haven in times of uncertainty. The gold rush isn't about bargain hunting, it's a flight to safety. The significant leap in gold prices, despite a formidable US dollar attack, illustrates the metal's undeniable allure in today's unpredictable market landscape. And let's not forget the role of the Federal Reserve. Their anticipated rate cut campaign is a crucial factor in gold's upward trajectory, showing how central bank policies can directly influence investor behavior. As gold continues to shine bright, it's clear that this gold rush is more than just a flash in the pan. It's a global economic phenomenon that's changing the way we invest and view our economies.